in the seated position, which is challenging for all of us because we're not designed to be seated and not moving for extended periods of time, and yet we do it. So I'm showing a possibility whereby I'm using this floor, which is a little bit slippery. I'm using that gliding movement just to show you a possibility where I am setting the pelvis in motion so we can revisit that idea of pouring sand. This time we're doing it forward, backward, forward, backward. And see, this is not done fast and it doesn't have to be big. Let's say if you're at the desk, you want to do something for yourself, but you don't want to show it to people. You can make it smaller. Or even smaller. There is also a space worth noticing, which is right here where the leg folds into the body. Let's call it the hip crease, right? If I allow this crease to bend a little bit more, I can actually turn my body. And I can do the same on the other side. And for most of us, you may notice a discrepancy. Right to left. We're not symmetrical. We might think we need to be, we might think we are. My heart is on the left. My liver is on the right. I'm not symmetrical. Again, we're showing this to you, but you can do it very, very small. It's better to move small than to stay completely still. I can be doing this and still have my arms available for other things that I need to do on my desk. Next. If I allow my feet and heels to play a little bit different directions. Right away, we're feeding movement again into the hip joints in such a way that I'm allowing the weight to pull from one sitting bone to the other sitting bone. Let's take our fingers, put them around the jaw. I'm going to take one hand out, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the hand. It's a movement like this. Now, if this is too much, you can stop your feet. But if you want to challenge yourself, you can do like me. I keep the feet going, however they want. And I'm guiding the movement of my skull. the jaw. I'm painting with my feet on the ground. Different circles, figure eights. Oh look, my whole spine is moving. Do this when nobody is watching. Otherwise they might think, oh what is this person? Imagine you're swimming in your body sloshing the body fluids around. You know how in the ocean sometimes the water moves between the sand? Have that image in your head when you're moving like this. So you're sloshing the fluids of the body. See, whoa, I create an upward wave. Beautiful surfing in your own body. Release the hands into space. You know what else is good? Stretch and yawn. If that's available to you. Beautiful. 
Don't do this when your boss is around. <laughs> Some ideas for seated movements. Enjoy.